giant sequoias and California redwoods are nature's skyscrapers, but the towering trees are dying in droves as wildfires burn bigger, hotter, and longer. CBS 8's Sean Stiles shows us how scientists are saving these California icons by sowing their seeds in Michigan. As fires and drought fueled by climate change threaten the majestic sequoias and redwoods that have lived for thousands of years in California. What's growing in this out-of-the-way greenhouse in northern Michigan could help save the species. The real goal for me is to protect and propagate as many different species as we can. Jared Mill Arch and the team of Archangel Ancient Tree Archives are in a race against climate change. They collect samples from sequoias and redwoods, clone them, and then replant them in places that need to be reforested. The Castle Fire in 2020 ripped through the southern Sierra Nevada and claimed an estimated 10% of the world's giant sequoias and one of the largest redwoods left in California called the Waterfall Tree. We collected genetics from that a few years ago. We actually were able to take some of those clones and give them back to the community there to replant. Just as importantly, they are archiving the tree's genetic materials as an insurance that they'll always be able to be cloned. David Millarch is Jared's dad and a co-founder of the project. This is a really, really special tree. It grew six feet just this year. Because they grow 10 times faster than most others and capture massive amounts of carbon dioxide. These trees uptake CO2 10 times faster than almost any species of tree on Earth. We need to remove the excess CO2 from the atmosphere. And these are the champions or the workhorses of doing just that. Some of the newest sprouts here come from clippings of the giant sequoias from surprisingly just 30 miles down the road at Manistee, Michigan. The tree has grown 116 feet in less than 75 years and is particularly promising because it has thrived much further north than where most grows naturally. I think it's a great example of how they can adapt and survive in different environments. The hope is these seedlings can be planted in colder places, nice healthy trees, turning these climate change champions loose where they've never been before. Even with this one tree that we have now, make a change here and the cuttings from this tree, part of Manistee and part of our legacy will be all around the world. A new age approach using some of the world's oldest trees to fight climate change, one clone at a time. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.